This is question 18 from paper two, and we've got to describe what type of transformation is going to map triangle A onto triangle B. So transformations come in several different types. What there are is rotations, translations, enlargements, and reflections. So we've got to decide which one of these it is. And actually, it's a rotation. And we can see that because the translation would actually be the same way up. And we can see that this is this is obviously spun round in some way. Um, and so a translation, if I'd translated this first one A, it could have gone to somewhere like that. That would be a translation of A. And we'd know that because it was the same way up. Well, it's not a translation. An enlargement, well, we would definitely expect it to be a different size. So an enlargement, as we can see, would be something like that. Um, I've not necessarily done that one to scale or anything, but an enlargement would be a different size. It, it's, uh, it tells us that in the name. A reflection, if I was to reflect A, then, for example, I could reflect it in this line here, which would be the y-axis, and I would get something like that if I reflected it in that line. Now, it might look a little bit like it's a reflection, maybe potentially if I draw a line like that, but as we can see, even if we draw a diagonal line, it wouldn't be this way up. So it's not a reflection either. So it's none of those. So let's look at what which one it is, which is the rotation. So the rotation means it's spun around, around a point. And in this case, that point would be here. And we can see, for example, this, this point here on this corner of this triangle has gone from there and it's spun all the way around to there. And it's gone by 180 degrees. So it's gone all the way there. We can see the angle and then it's actually turned round and it's ended up 180 degrees from it so it's spun in that direction like that if we look to does it work for the other points well let's look at this point here on this corner and we'll see there's that point there and if we spun it around i'm just trying to keep the line the same length there um it would end up there so again around that same pivot point it's actually spun 180 degrees and given us the new point on shape b and we can see can see a bit more clearly if i just draw the line through there we can see it's actually a straight line so that's 180 degree rotation and i'm just going to show the other point as well so let's have a look at that there's that corner there on a and if we rotate it all the way around it would give us this corner here on B. So it's spun around that pivot point. There we go. Um, now to do this, obviously I've got some limitations trying to do it online here, but if you were doing it um, on an exam, it's a lot easier. What you would do is you'd actually get a piece of tracing paper, draw around this shape, and then what you would do is put your pen in at this point here and try and spin the shape round, the, the tracing paper shape, and see if from this point you could get it then to cover the new shape. So you'd rotate it around that point. And if you got the point wrong, you'd just probably move it and try a different point, see if it was there. So if I tried it from this point to begin with, it wouldn't cover this shape. So then I move it to here and we can see it would actually now cover this shape B. So to describe the rotation, completely so we've got to fully describe this rotation or this transformation rather so we need to say well it is a rotation so we need to describe what type it is so it's a rotation and we need to give the center of the rotation so we need to say well where is it rotated about and that coordinate there is minus one zero so it's minus one on the x and it's zero on the y so center zero minus one sometimes we call that center of rotation and then also the angle is 
180 degrees. So we can see, because it's a straight line there, that angle there on a straight line is 180 degrees. And because it's 180 degrees, we could actually rotate in a clockwise direction to get there, or we could rotate in an anti-clockwise direction. So we would usually say which direction. So I'm just going to put 180 degrees clockwise, although as it happens in this case, anti-clockwise, so I rotated in that direction or that direction, um, either one of them would, would give us the answer. So 180 degrees, it doesn't matter which way you go. And there we go, we've completed that. So I hope that's been helpful. And please um, click the, the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you've helped, if this video has helped you. Thanks for watching.